All right, all right. Welcome to Bikas Web channel. My name is Bikas and I'm here back again with another video. This video is all about building a fully functional snack bar, global snack bar in React without using third party library. So what it means? Well, you can check it. Let's say we are signing up and it says we have problem in sign up and there are missing uh, some requirement. OK, if we give the name here, it says problem sign up, but email address is not available. All right, that's good. Let's go. Let's try to sign up with some wrong password. It says invalid email. And let's say we want to edit something. We get this kind of a different color here. And then if we want to delete something, we get this kind of stuff. So if that sounds cool, if that's what you are looking for, smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed my channel already, subscribe my channel. That being said, let's start the video. Here we are in our uh, main project. So it consists of client and server and then uh, everything. And you can find a uh, whole this uh, GitHub repo in the video description. This is from our previous project. And I will be using this uh, project in many upcoming video because even in real working life, you will uh, very rarely, uh, actually very rarely, you will start everything from the scratch because there is already something existing and you, you are building feature on top of that. So same thing here. And uh, there is client, there is server, client in React, and we will be dealing with client today. So let's jump into the client folder. And then there is component and you can create a component here. Let's just create one common folder. I could uh, actually even uh, put this button and text input inside there. However, uh, not going to go there. Let's just uh, create another folder here. And this folder will be a snack bar or you can even call toast bar. And then inside here, I will just have snack bar .tsx. I will just do RAFCE. And this gives us uh, this snack bar, which is good. And then I will also create a CSS file called snackbar.css. And this is good. I will go uh, and find uh, some snack bar uh, HTML CSS because I'm lazy. So I will just say snack bar HTML CSS. And let's see if someone already did that for us. OK, so this seems uh, pretty good for us. So let's go and let's convert this to React component. Uh, Pratik has done this. So thank you so much, Pratik. I'm going to use your work here uh, just for demonstration purpose. OK, so um, we don't need this button. So let's just start from snack bar and I will copy almost everything what uh, this Pratik Jane has done. So shout out to him. Let's go here and let's do something like this. And then where is HTML? OK. So there is just a div snack bar. All right. So let's copy this. And then I will go here. And then I'll do something like this. And just thinking, should I just do class name snack bar? I guess this should do. We, it might not work exactly the way it is here because most probably there is a class name of so and hide and everything and we don't need that so let's just take this visibility let's go here so we don't need this because we want this to be always visible we will do hiding and sewing with something else so is there visibility hidden okay we don't need this so in that case we can take this away well, I don't know if this will work exactly, but let's just have it here. Let's remove this and let's save it like that. OK. All right. So this is in its position. Uh, I just had to import this. <laughs> I completely forgot to import that. And that uh, created a little bit difficult time in debugging. And another thing is uh, this was uh, in, the, in the in the ID form, but we had to change it to class. So that was also creating some problem. However, now everything is good. So first of all, let's log in and I am here. Let me not restart. OK, so we are here and this is global. That means it is visible whether we are logged in or not. And the next thing is uh, we can also think about colors here. 
um, I'm just thinking should we do it now or should we do it later I guess we can do it later okay so let's let's come back to color a bit later first of all let's go and let's create a store so we can do it here just like we have URL store and user store however for this kind of uh, feature I usually like to do it inside here so I'll just create not there inside snack bar component here or folder here I'll just create a store and then inside that store okay store and then here I can just say snack bar store dot ts all right so the next thing is we want to just do everything we did from here so I'll just come import something from here so that's good the next thing is we want to go here and just copy this and let's do that and then now we can just say a text here so we just want this text for now okay so uh, text initially it's a string and it can be blank and then the next thing um we want to do so and that will be boolean and then by default that's false okay so these are two states for now and then we can go back to snack bar component and first thing first um let's go here and i will just make it observer so that way whenever the state change this will change let's just move this here so let's just import or store here so import snack bar store okay so we have now snack bar store and then we have so so those are where the two is stored so what we can do is if not so we can return so that way that is handled and then here what we can do we can do text okay so the idea is if it's not so we will return all right now you can see we don't have uh, our snack bar here i think i need to restart my uh, server here then only this warning will be gone but uh, the thing is whenever we uh, put this uh, so as true then only this will be rendered so that's good uh, it is working as expected so let's just go and let's uh, find a use case but before that what we can do uh, we can go somewhere here in the snack bar store and then i will just say so and hide so so and hide we don't need to do a snack bar we can just stay so and hide this dot so is true okay whenever we call this and then somewhere here we just call set timeout and then additionally we can also do duration and that is number and we can just put this by default one second okay and what we can do here is whenever this is called we want this dot so is false and in the time here we can do duration this okay so we can do this dot duration and let's say uh we will have three so default is three seconds so this way we can control this and this should be enough for us to call this so and hide and then the next thing is so we can do something like this and then we can expect something here and then whenever something happens we can do this the text is whatever the text passed here and then we can just do show and hide all right so 
with this I think we can use this now and this is already global so where can we uh, try this I think whenever we edit it and I will just say one to update okay so instead of this updated successfully let's show our global one so let's see where it is okay it's here in the dashboard after we have done this we are showing this so here what i can do is so snack bar okay so let's import okay so we can import a snack bar there and then here dot so snack bar and it expects text and we can do this text here and we remove this now let's go let's refresh so let's say i want to edit this to edited you can see that it says updated successfully the next thing is uh, we can do a little bit modification here so how can we do the modification let's go to snack bar store and here what we can do we can just say urgency and that will be um, let's go here I will just say type Mm. I'm just giving this kind of name so if we need to so we have info and we have error and then what else there can be warning I think we don't need info info can be default okay so we have default error and warning no uh, default error and success i think for now this is good so i can give this as this and then by default we have default okay so this is uh, urgency type and now whenever we are uh, doing this we have text and then next we can do urgency and that is of course a snack bar urgency type and then here what we can do if we have urgency if that's the case this dot urgency is whatever the urgency we get from there if not we always have the default urgency and here we can always do so that whatever the urgency is set it will always get back to default so that way no matter whatever urgency is set it will always get default once this is on okay so the next thing now what we can do here is in this we can also do success at the moment it actually does nothing however here what we can do is we can take urgency and then now here you can see and then here I can do urgency all right so now let's go to CSS here and then here we can do all the urgency first one is default and per just to green this is just so we can test it so let's just go here one okay we are still getting that let's just save this let's refresh here so now if I just say edited let's remove edited okay we are getting still that so let's just check okay we are sending success from there and here we have also success and the reason behind that is we need something like this okay so now let's go let's refresh we don't need it but just so 
edit it, you can see that we have green here and that's nice. And then error color. So let's go and let's try to use this error somewhere. So, so there is sign up and there is login. So here, instead of this, I can do something like this and pro problem in login and then this will be error and let's just import this okay so now let's log out and then I'll just give whatever and you can see it says problem in login okay so I just gave a quick uh, error type any uh, this was more for uh, typing related than anything else so I just did that uh, it's not the perfect thing but uh, it does the job and let's actually copy this from here and also here in the cats let's just do and here instead of problem in login we can say problem in sign up problem in logging and we can still keep this console log I think this is good so now if we go here let's just try to go to sign up I will say test user and the user is already existing so let's see what we get email address not available so we can show that and that is good however when we successfully log in do we also want to show a uh, success message so usually not needed but let's just try to do it just for fun here so I'll copy this one here and just before or after redirection we don't want to do anything we just say sign up I'll just do that and then obviously we don't want this so we want success and if you give something else we have typed there telling that this is not a proper one here and then I'll just copy this one and also here I will say login success all right so let's go to login and and you can see it's login success and we are there all right so with this uh, you can see we already created a global snack bar that you can use and uh, we can even do in delete uh, so for example here we have confirmation so let's just go and uh, let's do in delete so where was this and then what I can do snack bar store I can just import from here and okay so now if I refresh this I delete here I said and it says deleted successfully and additionally you can also do something like this position and then just like this is snack bar urgency type you can also do position top bottom left right or, or you know some cases you might even want it here here or whatever center it's up to you or you can also do instead of just positioning you can do vertical position horizontal position and that way all you need to do is uh, just modify the CSS you can do either this kind of way or additionally you can also have uh, some inline uh, CSS inline style for example here what we could do is we could just do style and then here and then here uh, background color you see here something like this and then here we could uh, additionally do a background color check so for example you know red whatever so instead of uh, using this kind of urgency we can get it or you can even have an additional function called get color for urgency and then here you are giving uh, the urgency that we are giving and then from here you can do some switch case like in javascript you know and then from there 
you can return whatever the color you want to return and then you can call that color here so that way it will get background color from there all right so the main part of our video is already uh, done uh, but uh, there are still few things i want to do uh, first thing first let's just go and let's check this how this color looks so let's go here let's edit it let's do whatever we want okay this is good so there are two things uh, at least i want to talk uh, so first of all which one is uh, so first of all let's go here and instead of i just want to make it 8px so if i update it okay this looks good however there is one more thing and that is i think from here what i want to do is i just want to make it a little bit interesting here so uh, what i mean by making it a little bit interesting so let's just copy this and put it here and then this is self closing okay so i'm just going to do you can do it close i am just going to do x here and then on click i'll just okay so let's go to our snack bar store and then here i'll just say hide we can this dot okay so let's go here and call, i'll call it hide here and then all i do okay let's say for now we don't have this it's just for now so when i do some editing here whenever someone clicks this you can see we want this to be close obviously so let's go here and then we have this snack bar there which is okay however need to add something on that so first thing first i want display flex that's good then space between that's good and then the last thing i want is align item center okay i think this is good this uh, close button doesn't look that uh, awesome there however that's not what we will be uh, fixing in this uh, video so let's just go here let's just do this let's remove this so you update it you close it you update it you close it all right that's good i'll just go here and do Control z now you update it and if you can close it you update it it will go automatically but if you if you are annoyed by it you can go and do that that's all uh, for today's video uh, now you know how to do a uh, mob access store and then how how you can do uh, this kind of snack bar the same theory the same uh, principle can also go for a pop-up model pop-up dialogue uh, you may need to add uh, more uh, items here or more states here in the store however the theory is same one more thing uh, in, in in real life in real project you may uh, deal not only with one snack bar but maybe multiple snack bars in that case instead of having just text here you can have a state that uh, contains array and then uh, just like how we did uh, duration here you can push to that array and then you can uh, pop uh, from that array and then instead of using one snack bar just like this you can render so map it out and then show more items there you can have gap and so on so that way you can still use the same principle however you can make it multiple snack bar in the same time but that is up to you that is something you can play with uh, i hope this video was useful for you i hope uh, you learned something from this video if you agree smash the like button if you haven't subscribed my channel already subscribe my channel and also leave some comment that way i know that uh, this video was useful for you this video was beneficial for you 
that being said thank you so much for watching until here i will see you in new video until then keep coding bye bye